Getting a Shih Tzu puppy can be one of the most exciting times of your life. Playing with their little paws and watching them try to nibble on your fingers when you play with them is cute when they're puppies. But now that your furry friend has grown up, their nibbles are starting to hurt. So in today's video, we will learn how to train your Shih Tzu puppy to stop biting. Before we begin, it's necessary to understand that your puppy doesn't bite to hurt you. Biting is a normal part of play and exploration for them. They want to interact with you, but they just don't know the correct way to do it yet. And you need to teach it to them. And it's simpler than you think. Here's how you can do it. First, you will have to teach them bite inhibition. Bite inhibition is a behavior in which the dog learns to control the force of their bite. As I said, puppies don't bite to hurt you. It's more a playful behavior. Once they learn bite inhibition, their playful bites won't be painful. The best way a puppy can learn bite inhibition is by being with their litter mates. While playing with their litter mates, when the pup bites too hard, the other puppy screams and stops playing with them. In this way, the pup understands that biting will end all the fun. So next time, he won't bite that hard. But all the puppies are usually sent to their new home before they can learn bite inhibition. If that's the case, you must teach it to your puppy. What you can do is make a low pitch noise every time your pup bites you and stop playing with them. Make it clear that biting will end all the fun. It may sound silly, but trust me, it works. Of course, it will take a lot of repetition until your puppy learns to bite without hurting you. The next thing you want to do is redirect their biting to a toy. In this step, we need to teach our Shih Tzu the correct way to interact with us. So every time your Shih Tzu tries to bite you, hold your hand stiff and say no in a firm voice until they stop. Then redirect them to a toy and praise them when they bite or chew their toy. They should learn that biting a toy is much more fun than biting us. Repeat this every time and do not give up. It may take some time, but it's all worth it. Shih Tzu puppies sometimes get hyper energetic and may start running and even biting people's feet. Again, this is a normal behavior in puppyhood. This happens when they have too much extra energy. So make sure to exercise them. Take them out for walks every day. If they are too young to go outside, then play with them indoors. Teach them new tricks and commands. And always remember, a tired puppy is a happy puppy. And lastly, keep a lot of chew toys around. Just like human babies, puppies go through teething too. Their old teeth fall out during this phase and new teeth emerge. This can cause irritation and discomfort in their gums. To find relief, they often start chewing and biting, and chew toys can help relieve the discomfort. If you have any questions, comment down below, and I will try my best to help you. And make sure to subscribe to our channel for more Shih Tzu Care videos. See ya!